Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to explain to you briefly what enables your computer to transmit your voice data over a telephone line. Now, this is uh, used when you're calling another computer, so if you're chatting with somebody online, or if you call another cell phone, because you can actually call phones from your computer. Here I am inside of Gmail, and Gmail is running this special right now, where uh, from 2012, I believe, through 2013, for free, you can call any phone anywhere without any extra charges. Um, right from your Gmail account, provided that you've got you know a headset with a mic and all of that. So, all you have to do is come over to the uh, the list of you know inbox and sent mail and all of that, and down at the bottom next to your profile picture is this little telephone icon. So you click on that, and then you can just dial the phone and call right away. So what enables you to do this is the telephone lines are your internet lines. So your internet actually travels over the telephone lines. And telephones used to be what's called analog, which means the way that your voice gets projected through the air is a very organic way. It shows up as like a waveform, like a sine wave, like that. Digital data is not like that. When you're recording voice either for a CD or for your mic on your computer, it actually takes what's called samples. And so it records your voice at one particular millisecond and it's like a solid point of data. And so you get all these little points of data spread out like that. And that's how it translates it into ones and zeros from this really smooth organic flow. It transmits that over the telephone lines because that's what your internet is actually set up to use. And with special programs like Gmail, it can actually translate it from calling another computer to calling another phone. And it just has to do with the way that the program works with your ISP or your internet service provider, which is kind of where all of those lines that run through the streets and into your homes, that's where they end up going, is to your ISP. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video explaining why you can contact somebody on their phone or on their computer and talk to them over a telephone line from your computer. I'm Josiah Ray.